Right, so thank you for joining me um, for this one, calling it Free the Fear. Um, and the reason um, I've sort of chosen to do this one this week is because I've had a lot of people kind of um, reaching out or doing sessions or whatever, where that is kind of like the premise of going around right now, which is this kind of like, there's, you know, this division that's that's trying to be forced right now with certain conversations and they just don't serve us. It doesn't serve us to have our attention pulled to kind of the uh, that division, those conversations, it just doesn't serve us at all because we're here. If you're if you're resonating with me, we're here to be the light. We're not here to kind of get caught up in action, in being warriors, in having to fight that fight. We're here to bring the light and to fight that fight that way. So um, kind of yeah, choose freedom, not feardom. It's I sure as a hi Lana what I saw as a quote this week, which I thought was a really good one. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna choose freedom, not theater. Um, so we're going to do, you've all done my work before, so we're going to be doing similar formats. So a bit of Kundalini, a bit of light language, a little bit of chanting, just a reminder. I actually don't think I've got any breath of fire on this one, but if there anything, any fast breath, you're just going to uh, not do that if you're on the first three days of your cycle, pregnant or have any heart conditions. And with anything that I'm doing, if for some reason it's hurting you, I do think this is a pretty gentle one. But if any reason it's kind of bothering you at all, then to just um, adapt for yourself. You know, you can that can mean just kind of like shaking, shaking the arms out and putting them back up or whatever you need to do. Just kind of listen to your body. Um, this is your journey. And we're about to do a Kundalini tune in. But before we do that, I just really wanted to just kind of acknowledge the Yugambe people, the traditional owners of the land in which I live and present today. And I'd like to pay my respects to their elders past, present and emerging. So with Kundalini Yoga, we're going to tune in using the mantra Ong Namo Gurudev Namo. So I just invite you, um, if you are starting to get the hang of it, to do it. Even if you're not always getting all the words right, there's a lot of merit to just kind of moving the mouth, making the sounds, even if it's approximate, so you can do that. If you're not comfortable, then just listen to the tune in. I always think that the first tuning on Namo, Go to Dave Namo, is really about connecting into your you know, divine self. And then the second tune in that we're going to do is the protection mantra. That's an opportunity for you to call in kind of your protection from your light family, from your spiritual team in whichever way they show up to you. So I'm just going to ask you to just bring your palms together, just rubbing your hands gently at the chest and you're pressing your hands together lightly at the chest and then lightly together and taking an inhale here and exhale and then inhaling to tune in. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Hold the breath of calling in your higher self and exhale. And we're now going to do the protection mantra. And the protection mantra is in four parts that we'll do three times. And what I like to imagine with those four parts is that there's a bright white light going up from the universe, first at my right, then behind me, then to my left, and then in front, creating four bright white pillars of light of protection all around. So taking an inhale. Sad good ain't a may, Jugat good ain't a may, Sad good ain't a may, City good a day, Vain a may. Sad good ain't a may, Jugat good ain't a may, Sad good ain't a may, City good a day, Vain a may. Sad good ain't a may, Jugat good ain't a may, Sad good ain't a may, City good a day, Vain a may. Take a deep inhale, hold the breath. Now imagine those four bright white pillars of light swirling together overhead, creating an energy, energy dome of protection over you, over this group. And exhale. Right, we are going to 
crack straight into it now. Um, so everything today, all the Kundalini exercises today, and then the light language today, and the music today, everything is really around kind of releasing fear from the body, uh, releasing that kind of nervous energy that comes with that, and then re-energizing and refilling you back up with kind of a nice, bright um, kind of energy for right action. And sometimes there's a lot of discipline that comes at this point. If we are finding our attention being pulled in a certain way, that takes a lot of discipline to keep your attention to kind of like see that you've gone there and then bring your attention back. So we're wanting to really kind of fill that up in us today. So you're gonna sit with a comfortable spine, whichever is comfortable for you. You can be in a chair or you can be on the floor and you're going to have the chin slightly tucked. So you're making a straight line with the spine and you're gonna have your index finger and your thumb just bringing together and then just resting that on the hands. That's connecting you into your inner wisdom, that uh, mudra. And what we're going to be doing is closing the eyes and then inhaling through the nose in eight equal strokes and then exhaling through the nose in one long, deep and powerful breath. So it'll look and sound like this. So join in. Keep going at your own pace. This meditation washes away stress from the body and from the aura. And it's an opportunity to reclaim yourself, to quieten the mind, quiet that mind chatter and invite in stillness. So we're just doing inhaling eight counts through the nose, exhaling one out. That's eight counts in and one long exhale out, both through the nose. Keep going, We've got one more minute here. Invite that stillness in, reclaim yourself. And taking an inhale here, holding the breath. Exhale, inhaling again. Now you're gonna roll the shoulders. And exhale. One last time, inhaling deeply, roll the shoulders the other way.
and exhale. Probably feeling a little calmer now. And what we're going to do now is uh, go into the first amount of light language. And this is really about kind of taking any of that stored fear in the body and moving it out of the way, cleansing any stress out of the way. So before we start, I'd just like you to just lightly tap your third eye and give permission for the light, the language, the energy, the frequency, the codes to come into the body. So just gently thinking to yourself, I allow, I allow, I allow. The awakening of the third eye, awakening that connection to your intuition. And exhale. Releasing the hand. And then just being open to receive. So you can just get comfy. It's only about three minutes will be the first one. We're just going to see what comes through. Kinakatokina, <laughs> Mokitokin <sighs> Kiaratokina, <laughs> Taking a deep inhale, think to yourself, I allow, I allow, I allow. Allow that work to continue happening in the body through every single cell, through every soul. And exhale. We're now going to do a meditation called Meditation for the Negative Mind. So you're going to sit in easy pose and you're going to cup your hands with the right hand uh, resting on top of the left and just making a little cup there. And you're just going to bring that in front of the heart space and your elbows can be relaxed at the side. Your arms don't need to be up. So it should be nice and comfortable here. And your eyes are going to be just a tiny bit open. So just kind of, I normally just kind of go, okay, open them fully and then kind of close them down and slightly open them again. And what you're going to be doing here is inhaling deeply in a long, steady stroke through the nose. Oh, sorry, through the nose. And then as you exhale, you're going to exhale um, through rounded lips. So inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the lips. And you're wanting to be making sure that you can feel the breath go over the hands. And as you're doing this breathing, you're going to let any negative and distracting thoughts come into your mind. And you're going to breathe that thought and exhale it out of your body and out of your energy field. Okay, so we're going to start now. So inhaling through the nose. Eyes are slightly open and exhaling through the rounded mouth. Long, deep breaths.
keep going. This, neg this meditation balances the negative mind. It clears the subconscious of unwanted negative and fearful thoughts. It helps you receive clear signals that genuinely protect and promote you, not the ones your ego has been playing. And this posture is one of humility, allowing the universe to cover and to shield you. And it's so helpful during these times. We're just here for three minutes. So keep that breath going. Nice, long, steady breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. And just consciously bringing up anything that's kind of been on your mind lately that could be sitting in a negative, fearful, fearful or distracting thought form. going one more minute here just thinking about those things that might want to come up this might be things that are in the news lockdowns lots of debates going on right now this can be uh diff uh diff fractions within the family there's a word that wants to come out but it won't come out just keep going bringing up those thoughts Now we need to exhale all the breath out. I want to pull in the navel point and we need to just with the breath out, I want to concentrate on each vertebrae of the spine all the way till the base. So basically it's kind of giving energy to every part of your spine, making kind of stiff as a rod with this fueled energy. And then when you reach the base of the spine, you're gonna exhale, pow exhale powerfully. Sorry, inhale powerfully. And then you're going to do that again, exhaling out. Do this at your own pace. Focusing on every vertebrae down to the base of the spine. Kind of almost like you're re-supporting yourself, re-putting the straightness and the strength of the spine back together. And inhale. And one more. Powerfully exhaling, focusing on each of the spine. And inhale. And relaxing the hands, just coming back to a neutral breath. We're going back in with the light language now. And this one is assisting in, is being channeled to come in as assisting and removing fear of the future and reminding you of your purpose on the planet right now, which is to be and shine your light. So just closing the eyes, mentally giving permission for the light to come back in to expand and then just a normal breath to receive.
Kikana took a kinano to Kaka, Tika Kakamoka, Tikina, Kitakamora, Tika, Tikamoki, Tikin, Yan, and Narutway. But I can't talk again, and I can't talk about the Kikan and Yeram Petaka Kayana, Roku Kikin, Yeramoka, Tika, Kitana, Katakamoka, Tika, Takamoki, Katakinaira, Roku Kinaka, Takatakita, Kamoka, Kena, Kataka, and Moka Tikiri, Takamoka Kikinaira. We need to open your hands and whichever way feels good, but have them open, be open to receive the energy. They can be up, they can be down, whatever, but just kind of open them and receive this energy into the hands. Taking a deep inhale, focusing the attention at the hands again. Oh. Exhale out, and then just give everything a little shake. It's a gentle one. It's kind of moving that energy through the body. And that's great. Okay, so we are now going into our um, next exercise which is about bringing in emotional balance i really like this one i can't even tell you why it's just it's weird but they almost all are to be honest um but i'm just going to get the music up for this one so we're going to be doing um does everyone have some water handy i'm going to put in the note to have some water if you have the water handy please take a big big drink if you do This is actually part of the Korea. It's part of the exercise to, um, to do this. You know, water is a great balancer. So we we'll take advantage when it's uh, kind of channeled into the exercise, we'll take advantage of that. I think I've, I've totally drunk a lot of water then. You just sit back in an easy pose and you're gonna place the arms across the chest with the hands locked under the armpits. Your palms are open and will be flat against your body. And then you're going to raise your shoulders and bring it tight up against the earlobes. And you make sure your spine is straight, which kind of brings the jaw up and in. So it's kind of make sure you've got a straight spine there. And you've got to close your eyes and allow your breath to naturally slow down. And this is all we're doing, three minutes here. And this is a really great exercise to do when you're upset or feeling out of sorts. The water, the rhythmic slowdown of the breath and the movement locking the upper body helps you gain control of the mind. The thoughts will be there, but they will not be felt. Slow, deep breath.
Keep going, long, slow, steady breath, emotionally balancing the body, the mind, the energy field. One more minute. Taking an inhale here, holding tightly, and then exhaling, letting the hands go. Might want to shock out the shoulders a little bit. So that mantra is also um, very good for uh, releasing fear as well. So if anyone is feeling like a lot is coming up at the moment, you want me to send that to you, the music, um, then do let me know because it is really great. You can just play it very low in the background and it'll work its magic because it's also sending out codes and frequency to support what you're trying to do. So closing the eyes again, we're going into the third part of the light language now. And this transmission is to energize the body, remind you of your spirit and your essence. So, I'm just, uh, just giving permission again. Rocket <laughs> Nobody <laughs> Prokitikarki <laughs> Boy, and not to it, ticket ticket, take a mock, take a mock, or you're not taking a motor to get ticket and hurt a camoy. Manet to call you not to get to get a mock, hurt a mock, take 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 a It's funny to imagine it's the way it's coming through is that the word surrender is surrounding your body. It's kind of moving around. The words kind of float apart and come together, but then moving around the body and just finding a little bit to come in 
to know that part of the way that freeing fear is to surrender. So just allow those words to move around the energy of those words to move around the body. Taking a deep inhale, think to yourself, I allow, I allow, I allow, allowing the light, the energy, the codes to move through the body and exhale. I've got two more sections to go through. Um, and this one is um, great. You're going to like this one because it's chanting, which I know most of you do enjoy the chanting part. Um, but also one of the ways to free ourselves from fear is to empower ourselves. And so we're using a prosperity meditation right now to do just that. So it's like, uh, I think it said on this one is to bring prosperity, happiness. This meditation brings us prosperity, happiness, and saves us from calamities. So perfect, really. So it's going to give us the power to break down the barriers of the past and converts our fear to determination. It's also going to evoke the guidance that we need right now and allows all of our powers to come to us to serve our true purpose so obviously we're going to do this about three to five minutes um you're not going to know the words all of them right now you're just going to sing around sing along and the best you can with kundalini yoga we're always saying that if you don't know the mantra that's fine moving your mouth making sounds the tongue moving around the palate and the vibration of what we're doing still works so the um, meditation is called Hara 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 Govinde. So it's gonna um, have a raise, had 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 had. So it's this kind of deep sound, and our tongue is gonna hit the roof of the mouth. And then there's other words on the end. So even if you're not getting the other words, just make some up. It doesn't matter. If you can get that had 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 had, and then the rest, you're gonna be making that sound current, making those kind of neural changes within the brain. Um, and this one, we're going to have our hands out by side at shoulder height. And every time we hear that hud, we're going to be making a quick noise that'll look like this. Hada, 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 gobinde. Hada, 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 mukande, and, and so forth. So there's nothing you can get wrong in Kundalini Yoga. Your intention is set. That is your main thing. You're giving it a go that has so much vibration already attached to it. So you're just gonna play along with this one. Okay, I think we've got everything covered. Oh, when you're making that hud sound, you'll be pulling in your navel point as well. So it's kind of going to just a little bit of a pull in there, kind of really setting our power center right now. Good sound. <laughs> Really go for it. We're falling in prosperity right now. Thank you. 
give it like that you're grabbing that prosperity from the universe. It's yours and ready for you. One more round. Taking an inhale, calling in that power, feeling it in your hands that you are able to manifest anything that you like, and exhale. Just keeping the eyes closed as we do light language here. Kitokina Lightly tapping the third, third eye with the right hand and the heart space with the left. Taking an inhale. Allow, allow, allow. And exhale. But our last Kundalini exercise is uh, called a meditation on change. 
So basically assisting with the ego chatter that we have. Obviously our ego's job has always been to keep us safe and to keep us safe has always worked on keeping us small. Um, uh, but when we are at this point in our lives where we are supposed to be shining more of our auric radiance, not holding it back, we need to kind of move past allowing the ego to make those decisions on what safe is and actually kind of lean into our intuition more. So the law of the universe is change. So being open to change and knowing that everything changes is a big part of, you know, being in our present moment, being ready to kind of having the resilience and the energy in the body to kind of handle that change. And obviously, when this fear stories are coming in, then the, the change that something's going to change is also coming with it, which is freaking the ego out. So we're going to get rid of that hassle of the mind from the ego, get rid of the ego doubt. Uh, which they say in Kundalini Yoga that doubt um, steals three feet of your auric radiance. So no, thank you. We need our radiance right now. So we're going to surrender to our higher selves and we're going to surrender into everything that the universe has for us in this moment for us to work with. So we're going to sit with a straight spine and you're going to lift the chest. So you've got a wide open chest out here. And you're going to curl the, this is an awkward one with the fingers. So you're going to just follow me. You're going to curl the fingers into a fist. So just sitting on the pads of the hands. And then you're going to bring the two hands together at the center of the chest. And then you're going to have the two places that the hands touch. Hi, Melanie. So you're going to have the thumbs that they're touching here, making a kind of a pad. And then the middle finger knuckles are going to touch. So it'll look kind of, you're making, you're making this shape. Basically, when you're holding this in front of the heart space, you're making this shape. Writing so uncomfortable, we can put the arms down. Nothing too uncomfortable in today's one. And you're going to close the eyes and take long, deep breaths here. And you're going to feel the energy moving across the thumbs and the knuckles. So we're just kind of really pulling into this energy. And for whatever reason, this one works to create change and allow us to support, have that support of change as it comes into the body. And it allows us the strength to say no thank you to our ego. So we're here for three minutes, just long, deep breath, really focusing on the energy across the thumbs and the middle knuckles, which are the only two points that are touching. Deepen the breath if you can for the last 45 seconds.
Inhale deeply. Hold. Exhale deeply. Now I'd like you to lie down. This is part of the Kriya. So I'm gonna let that energy move through the body, let it kind of distribute itself so that it goes to every single cell. And while you're letting that energy from that meditation move through the body, I'm also gonna continue with the transmission. And this is to give you the opportunity to feel and experience the full radiance of your soul. So to really kind of allow you to tune in energetically, to allow you to feel energized and allow you to know um, that you are facing the right direction. Just mentally giving permission. And we're off. Oyeratakamaya <laughs>
Inhale. Exhale. Allow, allow, allow. And when you're ready, you can come back to seated, bringing the hands into prayer position. And we'll tune out using three long sat downs. And sat down is a call in of your frequency of your truth, the vibration of your truth. So three long sat downs, inhaling together. Sa So um, we'll just go through, there's a lot of messages, a lot of very light colored stones on today. It was actually really nice transmissions, um, felt very light most of the time, but there was showing some blockages as well. So I'm gonna do my best to remember how these all came through because I was, don't normally do five light language, but after the, there was one extra that wanted to come in, so I allowed it. Um, so it started in the heart space and it was very interesting because it felt like, um, that that was where you were allowing and this is maybe not true for everybody depending on where you're sitting and like oh i've been feeling fear lately or i haven't uh it felt like it was fear was sitting around the heart space and so then it was a process of kind of moving that out and moving it out of the heart space and then kind of moving it sort of almost like a separation kind of almost like your power center and your heart center kind of merged into one blob and they didn't really know what each part was doing and so it's separating those out and kind of reminding yourself of the strength of your power center reminding yourself of the strength of your heart and then kind of like pulsing that out then and kind of just kind of then all these beautiful waves of kind of a yellowy green color was sort of coming out and it quite often when it gets to that point where there's energy coming off the body i feel like I'm kind of supporting that flow, but it was just then once it was kind of the separation of those two, then it just flowed very naturally. So it was really nice. Um, and I did actually feel uh, this happens sometimes when someone's really storing something very deeply, I felt quite nauseous with it. And so it's just kind of knowing that that kind of like giving yourself that freedom. I mean, if you get to this point where you're feeling to the point where you're really worried and worry and worry about something, you can do this exercise. You know, you do this set again or just listen to the light language again, whatever feels good for you. But it's just a reminding yourself that your power center is here to support your energy, you know, moving forward, you're, you're standing in your true north and then your heart is here to kind of radiate out that energy Energy to support and influence in a different way. Then the second part of light language came through was really cool was uh, this was with the hands and I don't know if maybe some of you felt it in your hands but for me it was like this I was doing this vibration that came out and it was just coming out would not stop coming it was just coming out coming out coming out, and I felt like I was so able to influence your energy field and kind of almost like I was just kind of just sending this kind of um waves and waves and waves very very strong strong waves of energy in to kind of fill you up and to fill you up so it came in through the hands but it was kind of coming throughout the whole body but the whole lot of that light was just this, this hand to you and then all these hand moves like right in front of your energy field um, very supportive for um just kind of getting back into the strengths of your body and then in the third lot of the light language uh i'm sure i'm missing a bit here but there was uh there was a part of third or fourth now i'm not sure but um really about the throat chakra um and again it was interesting it was saying that uh to allow your heart space and your third eye to influence what you say rather than allowing kind of anything else to come through so it's just kind of reminding that your heart space this is compassion this is love this is empathy and allowing that to to um to have any of those conversations that maybe you're having about things that are bringing up fear in you 
And then the third eye, just reminding you of your intuition, connecting into your actual wisdom, not the wisdom of the fake wisdom that's whizzing around. And it was just kind of a real reminder there. So it was a lot of a clean out here, a lot of clearing out of that density. And again, it didn't feel very good kind of getting that out of the way, but then kind of bringing up the energy here, bringing down the energy here and just kind of this really nice feeling by the end of it. And then with the, I think this, that was actually the fourth and the third one was in the head. And it was um, very interesting. It was like, I do this quite often. It's like, almost like I can clear out thoughts from the mind and it's like this gunk coming out. And I can sort of like, almost like into the energy of your brain or your mind, I can sort of weave, pull through and pull out the gunk as if you were like, you know, I can't even think of a good analogy for that one right now. But it was, it was done in three parts. So I kind of this side and then I could weave all these energy codes in to support, then here, then weaving the codes in and then here. But then it was kind of like, it was really weird. It felt like a really long ponytail of all of those thoughts that you've been holding on to. And then I was like, okay, time for the hairdresser and sort of chopped off the energy at that point. So I wanted to be very conscious of that. It's almost like, you know, you've got a, you've got a bob haircut. So there's a little bit, maybe a little bit kind of hanging around a little bit of thoughts that might be hanging around. Your job is to remember all the rest of the things that you've got to just kind of just clear yourself. I didn't feel like I necessarily got for everybody that I got everything out of that ponytail chop, but it was really cool because I was kind of like moving out the way. And then I was like, oh, there's this big ponytail here. We can get rid of that. No, thank you. There's that, that stream, those thoughts that are going there. And then the last part was, you know, the, when that comes through is this nice big kind of light white energy that comes in very um, about um, just kind of filling you up, energizing you, giving you kind of more of a connection to the crown and third eye, more kind of ability to, to see your truth, to feel your truth and to have it come through to you over the next few days as well. So be paying attention to any insights you might be getting, any inspiration that you're feeling, any creative um, pursuits that you're suddenly thinking about, go do them, go do those things, take the inspiration, take some action from it because it then just fills you up further. It was very cool because the salon light came in for this one, but as it hit like where it was going on the, on the, uh, on the, the, the person drawing, I think I used, um, the light just suddenly hit it. It was just like, oof, and it was just, that was exactly this kind of almost like this just bright light reflecting against something, but, and then kind of coming into you. So that was the, uh, the key stuff there. Um, I'd love to know if anyone wants to share anything, you're more than welcome about how maybe that came through for you. Often I think the sharing is can sometimes kind of ignite a little bit of a memory about something you felt because obviously we did a lot of language today. So um, yeah, and does anyone like to share? You're more than welcome, but absolutely no pressure to do so as well, of course. Here comes Amanda. Yes, my faithful Amanda. Can you hear me? Yep. Um, my hands are on fire. <laughs> hands are on fire and they feel quite heavy, lots of prickly tingling. Um, when we did the, the hugging one, mm. that one was really interesting because I, with all the colours and shapes that I could see, I could see myself in the womb. Mm. I was, but I was not the baby, I was this. I was the tiny little ugly thing, you know, <laughs> like the little bean. Oh, right. You mean like you so just right. like an embryo? Just like an embryo, that little, that little. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. And I thought, and I could feel all the tension all around my throat and it was really thick and then it just lifted. Hmm. So I don't know whether that was just like it just moved on, let it go now. Yeah, is yeah. it paying attention, right? So, uh, you know, a lot of the time after these is, you know, the energy is going to keep working. When you go to bed tonight, you can ask for a second wave of all of this and have it keep working on you 24, 48 hours. But sometimes on some of them, uh, I don't know if you heard, but the last part, this sounds comes in. And when that one comes in, that often takes a little bit longer to integrate as well. Um, that one's kind of very specific to the throat chakra. Um, so just kind of, just kind of, you know, pay attention to what's coming through this week. And I think really this week, it seems m more of a clear message for everyone to pay attention. So yeah, yeah. Go when, when that noise was coming through, that's when I was getting lots of waves, mm -hmm. like the, the light was coming through and lots and lots of waves. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, it's really cool. And I'm, but for you, this would be a good one probably to do a couple more times this week. If for any, is there any exercise that ever comes up that really resonates with you? 
like you're really kind of like oh wow then do it again you know they're gonna i'm gonna post the re replay of this today you can just go straight to that bit of the you can just go straight to that bit of the the video you don't have to watch everything again but if there's something that's resonated for you then please do it again i think it's especially to doing it three times often really works kind of going up a bit deeper each time. So, um, yeah, let it go. So thank you for sharing Amanda. It looks like you're going might be open to sharing. Yeah. Um, so really beautiful as always. Um, lots of, lots of light coming in huge columns and everything. The interesting thing for me today was, um, the letting go of the fear bit that we did uh, at the, at the very beginning, I had these very, very graphic images, and I'm not going to tell you the first image because it was actually quite gruesome what was happening in that first image. But the second image that I got was um, this spider that ended up on its back with its legs going like this and every um, colour of light going through its body and the shards of light just... Um, emanating through through the tips of its legs wow that sounds really cool that's really a good point actually because i forgot one bit uh which was actually quite a crucial one um which was in the last bit with the white crystal that came in the cell night when i placed it down and then i carried back into this thing i felt like we went through i was this kind of thing i felt like we were going through different timelines and then mm. it was kind of the message was kind of like hold on to your pants type thing it was like you know like this is we're on a wild ride and so it, I really felt like we moved timelines with that, which is really cool. So again, uh, how do you pay attention to have you time, have you quantum traveled? That means, and that really just means, have you gone into a parallel lifetime where everything's not exactly the narrative that's rolling out? So quite often, if you're wanting to see if that's true, very observant this week and just seeing if there's anything, it's almost like the mandala effect type thing where you like, someone's like, oh, that was called the Bernsteins or whatever the, the, the narrative is. But it's like, you're just noticing, oh, that tree, was that tree there before? Or it's just these tiny nuances that can kind of support whether you came on that timeline jump as well. You know, maybe a bit too woo-woo, but um, I've had it happen and it's really bizarre. Um, so, um, you know, really cool, cool experience there to just see if anything shows up differently for you this week and just kind of be hanging a minute. And if you do, please share. You know, this is really exciting stuff. Um, to be sharing. So thank you, Yogo. That's really cool. I feel like that 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 to me translates to that timeline jump, right? Even though it happened earlier. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. So cool. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to just as well just to introduce you to Yogo um, because uh, in two weeks at and uh, it'll be an hour from now in two weeks, Yogo and I are going to collaborate. We're doing a joint healing session. And I would definitely recommend not missing this one because um, your go channel is a 12th dimension light being called Iskata. Uh, and then we'll bring, we'll bring, we'll kind of like tag team a little bit and bring our energy together as well. And just we're very curious to see what kind of power we're bringing in for that. But um, I would highly recommend uh, not skipping that one. Um, so thank you, your go for, for putting your hand up to collaborate. This is exactly the type of thing that I want to be doing with people. So everyone's always welcome to be like, yeah, I want to do something. Um, but yeah. Absolutely. Cool. Anybody else would like to share before we close out? Thank you for always going on a ride with me, at least over time uh, on things, because I have to say 45 minutes. I know it'll be an hour, but if I say now, it'll be an hour and 15. So I'm going to try and work on that. And Anka, you want to say something? Hi. Nice to see you again. I know it's still 2 a.m. there, so good job. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm. I've been staying. Um, I've been staying awake until now. Thank you again uh, for the amazing work. I just wanted to let you know that two days ago. Uh, hello from Romania for you know everybody out there um, in Europe. I two days ago I did a very deep meditation and I something happened to my hands. Uh, the chakras of my hands like exploded. And that happened during something around the third eye as well. And it was, you know, I started vibrating when you were talking about the hands because I was like, that happened to me two days ago. And since then I can feel, I can, I can like play with energy with my hands, which never, which I've never experienced before. So yeah, that was an amazing conf conf confirmation. Thank you. Yes. Oh, well, so I really encourage you to keep playing that, keep playing with that. 
So that's going to mean finding people to practice on, you know, like just moving. So Amanda's going through a similar sort of thing right now. So it's just kind of like being able to move energy back and forth. So maybe you guys jump on a call together at some point and and practice. Can you send it back and forth to each other? You know, just having some fun with it and allowing it to go, okay, well, this has come through for a reason. What do I want to do with it now? That's really exciting. Because you did the Lionsgate last week. So you really opened up that big channel and said yes. And then here you are getting your confirmation. So that's pretty cool. And it was really cool. This yeah. is the hand one that was coming through. I don't know. It felt very, it felt very cool. Very, very cool. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you. Anyway, I'd like to thank everyone for coming along. Is there anyone else that wants to share before we close out? I will, um, next week's session will be later in the day just to, um, so I've 